This is the City of Santa Cruz Spotlight Show with your host. <laughs> Sorry, it's Friday. I'm AM 1220 News Director Perry Smith uh, here in the studio with Kevin Tenoyan uh, of the city's uh, Landscape Maintenance District. And in the City of Santa Cruz Spotlight Show, every third uh, Friday, we talk about all things uh, Santa Clarita. And Kevin, you were talking about some really cool innovation that the city's working on uh, through mobile apps and through its, you know, every, something like the irrigation system that you may not, you know, take for granted. But nobody wants brown grass, right? So Absolutely. <laughs> talk to me. Talk to me a little bit about what the what's the city doing and uh, how how are we seeing that? You know, one of the things that the uh, city really. Uh, uh, takes uh, its role seriously on is that we are good stewards of uh, uh, water usage and over the last three years we have gone through a uh, effort to replace more than 550 irrigation controllers which manage all our landscape zones throughout the community and we've replaced them with smart controllers and what the smart controllers do is they have the ability to dial in to local weather stations uh, through the web they uh, download a weather forecast for the coming day and then based upon uh, the forecast as well as how the automated system has been configured it knows exactly how much irrigation, how much water, uh, watering is needed in any specific spot. And it's down to the actual area. Some areas, like in our medians, need less water than other areas in a community that needs more. If we have inclement weather, the system will automatically shut down those controllers so you don't have to have uh, dozens of contractors out there spending four or five hours going out and manually shutting those down and it has allowed us to uh, generate a uh, annual water savings of close to 200 million gallons. Wow. And what does that translate to? You guys have like a dollar figure for how that works out I'd imagine or is it just kind of... You know, uh, it, it, it's... It does translate into savings, but sure. what we're also seeing is um, we see some things going on with water right now where some of those savings, it's easier to quantify with the number of gallons and the cost because water is a uh, moving target when it comes to what that cost is from year to year. And uh, what was that about chloride? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, uh, but what's, what's really interesting is you're also showing me a, a, a mobile app uh, kind of that works through your district or, or through your, your purview that people can just, if they see something, they can send it to the city right away, right? Yeah, that's it's correct. Uh, oh, one of my uh, other roles is I'm the information technology manager for the city, and we spend a, a great deal of time in terms of innovation. You know, one thing that we have available that uh, can be downloaded either through the uh, iStore or the Google Play Store is a uh, uh, city application application uh, gosantaclarita.com and it is a mobile version of the city's since you asked or e-service application you can download that to your phone and there are you know, more than two dozen different categories and for example you can use that app to report graffiti you see graffiti somewhere you open up your app you take a photo of the, the graffiti, uh, the phone uh, will automatically geocode the location of that graffiti. It gets submitted to a graffiti tracking system that my staff created, and it gets aut automatically assigned to our graffiti crew. They go out, usually within 24 to 48 hours, they remove it, and then on your phone, you would get a notification that would show you that the uh, uh, service request that you've made uh, has been completed. So you can go back there and check up on Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Interesting. So the response time is essentially instantaneous through that. I mean, it, it's, it may not get out there that instant, right? But I mean, the, you guys are notified of it right away. Yeah, absolutely. Pictures. And the way the system is set up, it, it's an intelligent system. So it is configured to send the notification to the person who's responsible for, for that, as opposed to someone who has to serve as a clearinghouse to direct it to the appropriate person. Awesome. Well, I can hear the Simon and Garfunkel music creeping back up, so uh, that means our time here to talk about all things City of Santa Clarita is done for the month. But thank you, Kevin Tenoy, yeah, thank you. for your time. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah, and no uh, thank you, Mayor Bob Keller, for talking about the Vietnam Traveling Wall. This is your host, News Director Perry Smith, on your hometown station, AM 1220 KHTS. Yeah.